Okay, just to recap, uh, I'm uh, checking out the index of the BVH files, checking the descriptions. I've isolated a walk cycle that might be appropriate in folder number two. Opened up BV Hacker file, open, navigate to folder number two, isolate file number two, and import it into BV Hacker. There it is in the standard T pose to begin with. There's no way of panning this view. You've got to scroll out and rotate to where you think it might show the entire action. Played it through. That looks okay. I'm going to crop it in the bottom right hand corner. I've hit uh, crop in or mark in, my apologies. So this is where I want it to start. I'm, so, I'm playing through until the right foot is planted and the left foot is passing, uh, as in the reference of my mesh on the left. At this stage of banana walk, I've hit mark out and now crop. So that's the extent of the action that I'll import. I'll edit, resample to half frames twice to bring it down to 30 frames per second. Hit prepare and center to bring it into the center of the uh, grid floor. And that's it. That's all I do with BV Hacker. There are other things to the right there. You can see sliders and buttons and all sorts. I haven't figured all those things out. Uh, this is good enough for me. I rename the file Banana Slip Walk. Uh, hit save, and that's it. That's ready to import into Blender now. So back, in, back into Blender, I, I'll, I, I isolate the uh, my armature in its own layer. Uh, hit Alt R, Alt G, and Alt S, and that puts my armature back into its rest pose. Control Tab into Object Mode. Open up the new layer, or a new layer, hit import, uh, file import BVH, navigate to the folder, there's banana slip walk, and hit import BVH. Remember these things come in as massive uh, armatures, that's no problem. Uh, go back, shift select the layer with my armature on it, shift select my armature, go into the object panel, down the bottom there are mocap tools. Open that up and hit re auto scale performer. So now the imported armature is the same size as my armature. I've hit load mapping and underneath that uh, ad, uh, advanced retarget. Now uh, remember on the hip bone we have to add a, a copy location so that my armature follows the movement of the imported armature, so that's done there. Uh, I'm now adjusting the F curves on the imported armature. I've isolated the hip bone, brought in my mesh for a visual reference, I isolated the, uh, the Y location F curve, G and Y, and moved the entire F curve down until the foot of my character is on the floor. While I'm here, alter the X rotation of the left foot so that my foot is parallel with the floor. Uh, I'm now going to the last frame and you can see the feet are off the floor. So this time I'm actually moving the bone and giving the bone, the hip bone of the imported armature, uh, a new keyframe on the last frame of the action. Frame 49, there it is there. You can see it's out of uh, kilter with the, uh, all the other keyframes. So I just open up that window, I put the cursor, the F-curve cursor in the graph window on the first keyframe. I go and deselect the last keyframe, the one I've just given it. I hit R and Y. That rotates but constrains to the Y-axis for all these keyframes. And I rot rotate uh, down until it's now in line with the new keyframe. So this means that the armature doesn't gradually rise off the floor as it moves along its local Z axis. While I'm here, G and Y on the X rotation of the right foot, so that's now also parallel with the ground. Uh, I'm back at the beginning of the action. Uh, there's a bit of slippage there, so I've put the 3D cursor on the heel of my uh, left foot, and you can see it slides forward as it goes forward. Um, so on, on the local... Uh, on, on local uh, axis, out local reference, the uh, hip bone uh, Z axis is uh, along Y of global, so I'm isolating the Y axis, if that makes sense. 
uh, the Z of the bone is the Y of is global Y. So I've, uh, I'm putting the cursor on the beginning uh, first keyframe of the Z location uh, uh, F curve S and Y, and I'm scaling the entire F curve on Y. And you can see in the 3D window, the foot slide back to line up with the 3D cursor again. Now my foot lands and doesn't slide forward uh, as the character moves by. So that's that one. While I'm here, I'm not happy. The, uh, the, the footfall, every footfall, he seems to have a bit of bounce. It was like they recorded these BVHs on a trampoline or something. So here I'm uh, putting, again, putting the cursor on keyframe number one, S and Y, and just scaling all the keyframe down a, a wee bit so that uh, it takes some of that bounce out of the footfall in the action. Uh, I also want to sort these arms out. He looks a bit like a sergeant major swinging his forearms like that. So I've isolated the left forearm, putting the F curve cursor on the um, uh, zero, uh, on zero, and uh, putting the uh, keyframe indicator somewhere where I can see the mesh, and scaling on Y on all axes on these bones. Now I've got the right forearm. S, Y, and scaling everything down just to reduce the, the um, uh, amount of swing in those arms. That looks like a far more natural gait. That's good. I'm happy. Select the bones. Select all of the bones. That's important. Uh, hit Control Tab and go into Object Mode. That's also important. Uh, hit uh, the Animate Tab on the Tools panel. Frames 1 to 49, only selected, visual keying, clear constraints, select all those things, make sure you hit pose and OK, and boom, it takes, that's literally how long it takes, let's bake that action, mind you, albeit only a small action, go and find the imported armature, delete that bugger, we don't need that anymore, come back into uh, my own armature, have a look with the mesh, I'm happy with that, Go down, I need to rename the action in case it, uh, so it's got something meaningful. It's easy for me to find again. Banana slip walk makes sense. Uh, give it a false user so it doesn't disappear out of the system if I take it off the armature. Uh, select all bones, Alt-O and Alt-O, and that smooths out all of the action. And that's it. Stick a fork in it, the bug is done. I know I promised the NLA editor this time, but I just wanted to recap the whole process. This is the walk action that will attach to the slip action, and that will be next episode. Uh, 